Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to use the camera feature in OpenTunes to add cinematic value to your animations. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make the camera pan, zoom, and then pan and zoom at the same time. First off, let's learn how to pan the camera. I just loaded up this scene from my upcoming short film Castle Dark, where the main character Pi is looking down at a chef taking a plate out of the kitchen. As the chef walks from left to right, let's give the camera a slight pan from left to right to follow them. First thing we have to do is go to File, and then Preferences. Let's head to the Animation tab, and make sure our default interpolation is set to Ease In, Ease Out. Normally it's going to be set to Linear, click the drop down menu, and click Ease In, Ease Out. This will give the camera a smooth flow as it moves from point A to point B. Now obviously it's not going to work for every single shot in every single animation, but for most things it's going to look really, really nice. And I also recommend setting it to this since you can actually remove it and tweak it in the function editor, so it's actually kind of a win-win. Alright, let's exit out of this and then we're going to go to our animate tool, which is located here on our toolbar, or you can just press A on your keyboard. So hit A to go to the animate tool. And if you guys are in the basics tab, your toolbar is probably going to be all the way on the left like this, so the animate tool is going to be at the top. For the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the basics tab since most of you are going to be in the basics tab. Um, I made my own room, but just so this is easier to follow along with, I'm just going to be using the basics tab that we all have. All right, with the animate tool selected, make sure that we have camera one selected from this drop down menu. And then you also have in the top right corner this global key option checked. It might be here for some of you. This is the tool option bar. And at the farthest right is the global key option that we want to that we want to make sure is checked. I'll probably explain this later, but it's just going to make things a lot easier when it comes to zooming and panning. I'm going to click this camera button so we can see just what's inside of our camera and not the other assets in the scene. So I'm going to delete these keyframes and then show you guys how I made my pan to the right. First, we want to make sure we selected the camera column, which they added in OpenTunes 1.4. Um, definitely appreciated. Thank you to all the people who put work into doing that. This really, really helps. Then we want to go to our animate tool, make sure that we have camera selected from the drop down menu and we have position selected here, making sure we're on frame one and we have camera one selected. We've hit global key. Just, you know, check your bases before we start jumping into camera movement. Let's click and drag to move our camera around. Now let's move it to the starting position, which is going to be to the left and just about here will be okay. As you've noticed, it automatically generated a keyframe on frame one where we moved our camera. So once you move something, it'll automatically generate a keyframe for you, which is nice. Now let's hover over to where we want our pan to end. And then we're just going to drag our camera over where we want our final position to be. Now what playing this back, we have a very nice pan and zoom that eases in so it starts slow and then it ends slow very very smooth and if you want to change the speed of your pan all you got to do is click the keyframe and then click and drag it around your scene to wherever you want it so let's say we want it on 27 let's play that very very nice let's say we wanted a longer pan maybe we wanted it to be 50 on frame 50 that's all you gotta do. Now you'll notice that in order to make this ending keyframe, I clicked and dragged with the mouse, but um, those kind of movements aren't the most precise that they could be. Say you wanted the camera just to move to the right and not move up or down at all. Then we can delete this keyframe, hit delete, go to frame 40, and then instead of clicking and dragging with, with our mouse, because you know, our hands are gonna have human error, we can actually use the parameters in the tool option bar to move the camera. In OpenTunes, left and right are east and west, so we want to move our camera west. So let's say we change this negative 172, which is where the camera is located right now as respects to the east and west parameters. Let's change this to 1, from negative 171 to 1, so that's to the right. And now if we watch our animation back, we can see it automatically set a keyframe just like it did when we moved the camera, and the movement is much more precise. It's literally just moving on the east and west axis. It's not moving up or down, or it doesn't have any of the human error that we had in the other one. I tend to use both of these ways to make camera movements. Sometimes I like to move with the mouse, 
Sometimes I use the parameters. It's definitely good to know how to do both. Now, some of you are going to run into some problems at this point, because I know I did when I was making this tutorial. This is actually probably my fourth time recording this tutorial. So sometimes when you move this keyframe around, this final keyframe, your ease in will stop. It'll start, it'll stop abruptly. Since we set our interpolation to ease in, ease out, we can actually fix this. So let's head over to the, to the X sheet tab and go down to the function editor. Now what the global key option does is that it makes a keyframe for all the parameters so that you can do a pan and a zoom at the same time. But as you can see, since we used only one of the parameters and only made a keyframe for the east and west, that shouldn't be a problem for most of you, but if some of you have a keyframe for all parameters on both of these lines, then you can run into some problems. The problem that I ran into the most of, most of the time was that it would ease in at the start and then stop abruptly, which was hard to figure out. So if you're having that problem, all you gotta do is open up the graph editor. And then as you can see, we are actually having this problem. So usually when you do an ease and ease out, this bottom part that curves up is supposed to be reflected on the top part. This, they're both supposed to um, curve into their final frame. So playing this, the camera kind of stops abruptly. I'm not sure why Open Tunes does this, but I'm just gonna show you how you guys can get around it. All you have to do is click this dot, this final frame that has the straight line instead of this curve. Um, they're both supposed to have curves. And you're gonna grab this bracket, click and drag it backwards. Then you can make this top keyframe match this bottom keyframe so that we can maintain that smooth movement. There we go. So this is a little complicated for you guys. Don't worry. Um, it's really good to get into the function editor and get into OpenTune to start playing with these more complex things so you can get to know the software better. But yeah, I'm not really sure why that happens in OpenTunes, but that's the way to fix it. The graph editor provides a really neat visual um, for you to look at to sort of um, see in your head what the keyframes are actually doing. Going back to the basics tab, we finished our pan. We got the we got the ease in, ease out working. Now let's make the camera zoom in. So we this is a global keyframe right here. So let's just delete this keyframe, this last keyframe, this ending position. And then we're gonna go back to frame 40. So we already have our starting position with our camera, which is a global keyframe, meaning it already set a keyframe for the zoom parameter. The zoom parameter is actually Z. Let's go to frame 40. Now I actually made a mistake. You guys should probably just use position for this one. Apologize for that. Make sure your camera is set to position. So we already have our starting position. Now all we have to do is hit control and then click and drag forward to zoom in or backwards to zoom out. So I'm gonna zoom in. And then our keyframe is automatically set for us. Make sure that you do have the global key tick though. So what we, all we gotta do is watch our animation play back. So now we got our camera to zoom in. Again, we're having that problem where the ease in, ease out isn't really working. Um, if you guys know why this happens in OpenTunes, then leave a comment below, help your fellow animators out. Also, if you're enjoying this tutorial, if you're learning something, be sure to leave me a like below. That'll help this video get out to more people who are looking for help in this area. So we have our zoom in, takes place over 40 frames. Let's go to the X sheet tab and fix that. So we go to X sheet, go to the graph editor. So we do have two global keyframes here. As you can see, this is what two global keyframes look like, looks like in the function editor. Let's go to the graph editor and fix this up. So this is the Z parameter right here. It appears in orange. I'm gonna make sure to click this side and then drag the bracket out so it can sort of have a curve. Let's watch this back. That's much better. All right, so at this point, you, you guys probably know how to make a pan and zoom, but I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purpose um, to show you guys what a pan and zoom would look like. So let's delete this keyframe, this last one. Then we're gonna put our camera icon on. We have our first position already set, so let's go to frame 40, click and drag the camera over to the chef, then hit control, and then click and drag upwards to zoom in. Now here's what our animation looks like. And again, we're gonna have to go and fix the ease in, ease out. Let's go to the X sheet, graph editor. So in this, we actually have the Z parameter going right here. We have the north and south parameter, which is up and down, and we have the east and west. And it seems like all of them start out with a curve, but then this final curve doesn't really make it. I'm not sure why that happens, but all we gotta do is click the final keyframe, this little dot right here, and then drag, oh, that's not what I meant. Don't drag the whole thing. Click the bracket. Here we go. Got to kind of aim. Click the bracket and drag it backwards so you can get a nice curve. You can try to match the curve that the first keyframe has, or you can just 
make it shorter or longer or do whatever you like. I'm going to try to match it so it can look very even. All right. Now we got to do the same thing for north and south. So we'll click the final keyframe, drag the bracket back and then Z as well. All right. So now that we have all of our smoothing done, um, unfortunately we have to do it manually. We have a very nice smooth camera motion. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really wanted this to be an easy tutorial, but the more I tried this, the more I found that issue where OpenTunes would get rid of the ease in on the last keyframe and I just had to explain all that function editor stuff. So I'm sorry if this wasn't that simple, but it's really good to get to know that stuff anyway because it'll unlock a lot of potential for your animations. So be sure to leave me a like if you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to support the making of free animation tutorials, follow the link on the end screen to my Patreon page. If you do, you'll help me out a great deal and get some cool rewards for yourself. With that said guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or if you need some extra help, go to my Discord server and leave them in the questions channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Special thanks to Owen Art for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you want to see sneak peeks and the latest news about my upcoming short film, Castle Dark, you can gain access to all Patreon exclusives behind the scenes posts for just $1 a month. All you gotta do is follow the on-screen link to my Patreon page. Thank you in advance.